Watch this video. Please don't touch. Please don't talk to him. He's a service dog. And you're distracting when you're talking to him. Sorry. Thank you. Fuck you. Eat shit and die, bitch. <laughs> what? Oh, we can watch some videos. Why not? Fuck it. That's it, love. Just this massive fucking space here. But you're just still clocking on down the road, aren't you? Fucking move! 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 <laughs> What? <laughs> Why didn't you move? You fucking what? I've got you on fucking camera! You horrible cunt! Go on! I've got you on fucking camera! You tried to run me I have not tried to run you over! You stop fucking hitting my car! Look what you fucking done! I'm I calling the police on you, you horrible cunt! Go on! I'll tell her how the hell you For said. fucking what? You Am I crazy to say this? Or like... Walk down here. I'm trying to get past. There's loads of space for you to walk there. You just fucking smacked my car. I couldn't care fucking less. You fucking bitch. Move out the fucking no, way. You one. just assaulted me, you cunt. No, I'm calling the police. I'm no, calling the no. fuck. <laughs> dude, what is it going to do? Fight back? Like, dude, I don't get it. No. Uh, what do you what do you mean I'm not allowed in a Walmart? This is the best one, dude. We shall declare independence. What do you mean I'm not allowed in a Walmart? <laughs> we shall declare independence. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not allowed in a Walmart? <laughs> this is the best fucking meme ever. Oh, uh, what is this? My name is Walter Hartwell White. The One Piece, the One Piece is real. Can we get much higher? So high. Wow, the same one meme. The Hood Wars. Hood Wars, the Weed Wars, episode one. What? What are you guys linking me, man? Interrupted the smoke sesh you have. <laughs> what? Wait. Huh? Interrupted the smoke sesh you have. Forgetting the great swishers the new nigga has brought forth. <laughs> yeah, my bad, nigga. You invited to the smoke sesh, but we did not grant you access to the weed card. Nigga, for real? What the fuck are you guys linking me, man? This is so bad. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys linking me, man? What is this? Oh, shit. Where is it? Where is the what? What is the original video of this? Where does this came from? Please watch Mr. Shell. No, dude. No, I'm not saying. I'm not watching. Jishikai Kira says the N word remastered. I am not watching that, bro. What the fuck's wrong with you? Good morning, USA. You guys are sending me memes? Something like actually something worth my time. Dude. What the fuck am I seeing? I just wanna fuck a dude. This coming so st Holy shit, lightning! Okay, this is just scaring me eight. I'm getting li I'm liquefied cringe. Holy fuck, this is like media share except I'm picking up random plebs. How many cigarettes have you got on? I'm not watching Jubilee, bro. Oh shit. 
country do you think this is? Um, give me a hint. It's red, white, and blue. Well, America, goddammit. Oh, this is America. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Red, white, and blue, that's all you have to say. Are you joking? Does it look like a fucking joke? How much do you think this is? Ikea. 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 Why do you think this is like here? Because that's the colors they have on their side. <laughs> <laughs> Name three countries outside of America? Yeah, easily. Go for it. Okay, okay. Czechoslovakia. Doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Germany. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I can the capital of Germany. Uh, Brussels. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Which city is the Eiffel Tower located? London. Uh, what? What continent do you think France is in? It's actually Paris. No, bro, I'm so smart. What? What continent is England in? Australia. <laughs> Dude, what? There's no way this is real. And where is North Korea? I know this is Africa. Is it somewhere up here? Holy. Europe. Holy, no way. <laughs> Which continent is Europe? America. <laughs> what? <laughs> so people are idiots. What we need. Wait, that's the way it's real, right? It has to be fake. What is this? Oh, I was this meth dealer. What? Yeah, I was this world-class chemist, and I and I cooked, and I sold this ultra-pure meth at a defendant. <laughs> you cooking anything? But there was a guy who never spoke. He just... He just rang a bell the whole time. And then now there's another guy who was, who was a, 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 a policeman or a DEA agent. I think it was my brother or something. He looked like the guy from The Shield. Bruh. And then there was this other little guy who was a, a waif of man-child. Dude, I think sometimes editing just ruins a video. And that's one of those cases. Dude, the same three Walter White memes. Police for love of God. I'm a very creative person, I guess. Let me name Dave. I'm seeing a button. What? I'm a very creative person, I guess. My life is never... Oh my gosh, because I'm a creative person? No, I just... You're not cute, sorry. Ouch. Ouch. I'm not cute? Welcome to the Holy. Button Speed Dating Show. When the button lights up red, Yo, so either people player think they press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all-expenses-paid second date. This is the button. What up, what up? Hello. I'm good. How are you? Good. <laughs> Mackenzie. Carlos. Oof. Carlos. Shit name. Oh shit. Well, all right, all right. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 36. Yeah. How old are you? 35. So I don't believe you now. You don't? Because I look younger. <laughs> you look older. I look older what? than 35. <laughs> yes. That's so mean. I don't mean to be rude. Why would you say that? Why the fuck would you ever say that? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you really do have beautiful. Teeth, you have a really nice smile. Thank you. And you have a really sincere voice. Voice? Dude! <laughs> you call me old! Rude! Dude. You never do that to a woman! Hey. Good, how are you? Great, thank you. Mackenzie. It's Josh. Nice to That's kind of fucked up, though. How old so are you? I'm 32. 32. Yeah, what about yourself? 35. 35, okay, that's close enough. Do you age. like older women? I mean, you're similar to age. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't really view it as that. Did you go to Terrace? Yes. So did I. <laughs>
<laughs> Why did you click? Because he knows me. I know her. <laughs> Wait, they Hi, know each other. Huh? Thank you. Yeah, solid. Thank you so much. Yeah, I like your test. I'm Josh. Okay, all I'm gonna say this is if if you participate in this type of shows, you are so desperate. Holy. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm Sky. Nice to meet you. You got tats too. I have a few. Yeah, sleeve, half sleeve, chest piece. Can we see more of your tattoos? Uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> Can I still show them or no? <laughs> Why did you reject him? I feel like he might be old for me. Just guessing. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? Good, I'm Sky. Women. Sky. I'm yeah. Alvin. Nice to meet you. How old are you? I'm 25. How old are you? I'm 23. Is that too young for you? Is that a deal breaker? Um, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. What? Because Why she's, did you reject her? She's fat. My type. She is very cool though. I like her fit. She's fat. Thank That's you. nice. Shay. Shay. What's your name? I'm Alvin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I like your tattoos. Thank you. Do you have any tattoos? No. Dude, no tattoos? I want some though. What do you want? I don't know. That's why I haven't gotten one yet. Oh wow. This Why? Is the tattoos? The indecisiveness. I I want I like somebody who knows what they want, you know? Bro, have you seen yourself in a mirror? You look like a Two-Face character. Hello. I'm awesome. Shay. Don't know what they Shay? want. Look at your fucking hair, bro. What do you nice mean don't know what they want? Yeah, it's real nice to meet you. What is what do you do? What does your life look like? I'm a manager at a primary care and then right after work, I like to get a run in, do some weights. Do you have any other hobbies? Mm, hobbies, I can't really say I'm that interested. Austin, what was up with that? The fact that you don't have any other hobbies. I'm a very creative person, I guess. My life is never, oh my gosh, because I'm a creative person? No, I just, you're not cute, sorry. Ouch. Ouch. I'm not cute? Okay, I know I'm cute. <laughs> Why did you reject her? I don't like, uh, Colorful hair. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what an absolute sigma. Holy. I was, I, was, I was say the same thing, to be honest. Yeah, color, listen, man. I will tell you guys a life advice. If the girl you're dating has a color hair, then you should definitely dip. <laughs> uh, what's your name? April. April, Austin. Austin, okay, sorry. No, I thought you said awesome. <laughs> and I was like, okay. I love, man, your hair is like <laughs> flames. I'm <laughs> digging that, yeah. Austin can run a mile under five minutes. Yeah. So you like, like to run? Oh, I love running. Would you go running with him? Uh, I'm like a walker. <laughs> I like to walk with my dog. I don't like not walking, fuck dog, that shit, bro. So... You're a dogger. Austin, do you like dogs? <laughs> Oh, weak. You caught me when I was looking up. <laughs> my dog mm. is my child. <laughs> Sorry, I am not a dog person. It's okay. Call it hair. Your Why dog you is your child. Me? Yeah, you're not mental a dog illness. Person, that's a Next. <laughs> April, nice, nice to meet you. you. Okay, right away. Are you attracted to each other? Do you find me attractive? Um, I, I do not. But you seem funny. Yeah. Danny know. says he has a good sense of humor. Tell her a joke. A joke? Oh, you gotta do me a joke like this? Science puns are my thing, so if you got a good one for me. A science pun? Do you have a science pun? Can you help me out with this? Are you made out of 11 protons? Because you are sodium fine. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, come at me. I, I gave my share. All right, I know I gave a share. I gotta do it too. Um, damn, that's it. <laughs> Sorry, Danny. Okay, it's honestly, nice you. honestly, dude, telling someone, tell me a joke out the blue. Nah, dude, that's too hard. That's too, too hard. Yeah, I'll so panic <laughs> too. Why did you reject him? We asked him for a joke, but I still had to give first. And so it's definitely giving, I have to take the initiative. Hi. Hello. How are you? Yeah, Woman. Yeah, I like the pants. I love the hair. <laughs> you have a dog. <laughs> I like this. You look good together. Oh, thank you. I think we look good together. He's so based. Oh my God, look at his fucking Benny. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. You look good together. Holy, the least degenerate Genshin Impact player. <laughs> Yeah, I think we look good together. Thank actually. you, thank you. Miles is a great cook. Uh, <laughs> What's your go-to? I'm from Louisiana, so I definitely like making like a seafood pasta. My okay. seafood pasta dish is a linguine ai fruit de mer. That's my favorite to make. Ooh, yeah. man, so you trying to have a pasta cook-off? Talk about your last relationship. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, my last relationship ended terribly. I was uh, out for work. I came back home. Turns out she cheated on me and also got uh-huh. pregnant with that guy's child. Do you think there's anything that you could have recognized earlier on? Definitely. I think it was because I think I noticed uh, some red flags and stuff like that. Like personality just hit a whole 180. But I think I didn't want to like like believe it. So I was trying to drown myself in work. You know, the 2020 was not my best year. So. <laughs> Yes. It has nothing to do with any of that, just no. FYI. No, no, it's fine. It's totally fine. I appreciate you. It was very nice. Nah, it's okay. Why did you reject him? How many times did he ask me about myself? Mmm, good point, girl. <laughs> Dude, why are the Saints Row characters having the audacity of fucking flaming others? <laughs> like, bro. Hi. I'm EJ. April. Nice to meet you. Like, bro, you, you, yeah. <laughs> I really like your hair. Thank you. Yeah, thank I you, don't. Thank you look you. ugly so as fuck. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a relationship. That's Companionship fair. is nice. Yeah. You know, at night you'd be like, oh, um, I kind of miss the company. Yeah, yeah, but I have my dog too. You're oh. not allergic to dogs. Right? No, I love dogs. Okay. That was a deal breaker. Someone wasn't into dogs. I love dogs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> dogs, I fucking hate dogs. dogs. <laughs> you know what I'm oh, punch a dog in the face. I don't care. I have a skin condition, psoriasis. I have a platform where I'm trying to like normalize the beauty standard of trying to make people comfortable in their skin. I'm trying to trend orange to be psoriasis awareness. Okay. So this is me yeah. trending it as much as possible. And now it's become kind Aww. of my look. So it I... is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it is, I agree. Ask her if she likes daddies. A what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> uh, do you like guys that have kids? Yeah, because I have two kids. Is it a deal breaker that he has kids? No, it's not a deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what? <laughs> so I'm gonna turn red one more time, and you if you don't it? click it, I'm we'll pay for it. a second day. You match. <laughs> wow, that was insanely cringe. Fuck this bitch and fuck you too. <laughs> Dude, I cannot believe I watched that. What the fuck are you guys sending me, bro? Dude, what in the hell are you guys watching me, man? Woman moment, dude. This has to be staged. There's just no way. <laughs> it has to be staged. It just has to be staged. I really believe that's real whatsoever. No offense. Tell me, tell me what happened tonight. Uh, I was just sitting there home having some thoughts and then the police come up, knocked on my door, told me that I have to evacuate just because they reckon it's a bomb threat around the place. And I just tripped out and I was like, oh shit, must be just happening overseas or something. But yeah, I just packed up my stuff and left. But it looks pretty serious, there's heaps of cops here and there. Reckon they're bringing the bomb squad in. But yeah, and they're pretty trippy stuff, eh? What the fuck that is watch? What is this? Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Alright, yeah. this is just, this is just, bro, I... Oh shit, fuck on my roommate. No, dude, no, bro. Guys, what the fuck are you guys thinking me? Jesse, I have terminal cancer. We need to cook. Guys, please. Please, we look like a broken record, please. What's going on, guys? Hey, from the gas station, bro. This shit got me fucked up, man.
Luke and Today we're gonna talk about four sword style Zoro. This nigga's racist. This nigga just don't like niggas, bro. Why are you guys sending me, man? We're gonna be bringing up all his opponents, and we're, you're gonna see. You. <laughs> Dude, why are you guys sending me, man? It's not a dog shit meme. <laughs> it was a dog shit meme, regardless. Here you go. What is this? Busying up by yourself? Dude, what? Pissing all by yourself, hands. What the fuck are you guys sending me, man? No, I'm not, dude. No, no, guys. Holy fuck! Not again. Why is this empty twice? <laughs> Roll up the windows, Harry. Let's hotbox this shit. Yes, father. Hey, <laughs> gee, I gotta go. Another successful office blunt rotation. Pass that shit, homie. Actually, Norman, you're being kicked out of the circle. Yeah, you cheap that shit for like six puffs before you pass. You're out, Norman. Oh, you can't do this to me. I started this smoke. Dude, I'm gonna fucking shoot myself. <laughs> Dude. How about you, my friend? I do sales for a printing company. Sales for a printing company, old school. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's the industry you want to get into right now. Is you want to get into printing and sales, huh? I'm living good. You're living good? All right, okay. Whoa. Was... Sorry. We <laughs> punched a nerve, folks. <laughs> what kind of restaurant is- Holy fuck, can you guys sell something to me? Okay, listen. You send me something that I can watch that is not gonna make me want to fucking kill myself in the middle of the video. Just Jesus Christ. Like, dude, I, I, I've been seeing this Dude, you guys aren't funny, bro. Like... Oh, they need lots of fabric he's staring at the camera. <laughs> it's like Mexico. Random guy that Welcome. walks... Friend. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. The one to mention a black character only there to give one funny one liner. God damn, is how I'm swearing like R. Kelly in Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Oh, okay, bro. Dude, no, dude. What the fuck, man? You're sending me beams. The back and forth between Gordon. I'm not interested in this. This is also boring. Holy bar holy bro. I cannot wait to click this video and it's gonna be some random five second clip or some over edited garbage. This is the second story bounce back. Yeah! You're like, man, water bottle flips are dead. We're done. Never happening again. And then you do something like that, and you're like, let's go! Okay, Mr. Beast ripoff, cool. <laughs> Trust your mods. Surely this is what we got. Wow, I need another. Thanks for nothing. Hey, what happened to my masturbator, Francesca? You got me all turned around. Dude, I oh, swear yeah. to God, every time I click a link, it's the same three things. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna prove it to you guys, right? Every time I click a link, it's gonna be the same three things. It's gonna be either one a Breaking Bad meme. It's one of those really dog shit memes that are made by those quirky meme pages that are just a bunch of TTS talking, or even worse. Like some outdated old meme. Here we go. Oh, never mind. How do Americans see the world? But didn't we just watch this? Name three countries outside of America. Uh, Europe. That's a continent. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's different. Outside of America, if you can. Europe. That is a continent. Name three countries outside of America, if you can. Europe. Europe is a oh, continent. I know. <laughs> you want another one? Yeah, please. United Kingdom. That is correct. Can you name any country on this map? Yeah. Africa? That's a continent. 
Holy. That's a continent. Oh, country. Um. Holy. Is that Africa a fucking country? It's a continent. That's a fucking continent. Yeah. What's the Iraq? That is correct. China. Correct. China. Japan. That is correct. Tokyo. That is a city in Japan. Korea. Tokyo. Sad. North. Okay. <laughs> Mexico. Base. New Zealand. Australia. No problem. Paris. That's a city. Paris. <laughs> Holy. South America? That's a continent. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Wait, I'm not sure. Greenland? <laughs> oh wait, it's getting worse? We have the country of Asia. No, that's a continent and uh, that's oops. Russia. What? Wait, are Russians Asians? No. I mean, technically, can I, right? Yeah, have it. Like, I know that, I know that, like, I know they're not, like, Asians, Asians, you know? But they're technically Asians, you know? Asia, Europe, UK, China. <laughs> oh. Watch this. Death battle. Wow. Black Widow versus Widowmaker. I cannot wait to not watch this, Shatter. That's an insane link. I can't wait to never watch that again. Why am I make life good? Why am I lonely and have to make friends? They provide the scaffolding that makes it not just bearable, okay, but fun. Cool. They give us a sense of meaning and purpose, and are a source of security, self-esteem, and happiness. Almost nothing predicts how happy you will be as how connected you feel, and a lack of social connection is associated with a number of diseases and a shorter life. But maybe you have scrolled through your phone, unsure mm. who to call to go to a movie with, to celebrate with, or ask for comfort. You may realize that you don't have enough friends and feel lonely, and it's not just you. Disconnectedness and loneliness are widespread. Many people want more close friends, but don't know how to get them. Surprisingly, nowadays, loneliness is highest among young people, whose relationships were also hit especially hard by the global pandemic. Social distancing stopped teens and young adults from mingling in classrooms, clubs, or dorms. Millions of friendships may be lifelong friendships. So why am I watching this? Also, who gives a fuck about friends? Friends are nothing but an instrument to succeed. That's about it. Now, what, what is this? The <laughs> oh, my God. Another one, no way! Oh, idiot. So I called and complained to the city about people uh, not stopping at this stop sign here. And, um, this was their solution. <laughs> Epic. The kids know. Uh-huh. Okay, ultimate fast off the Yes. Okay. And a sloppy wiener. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a thing. <laughs> He's such a jerk. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> what? My son and he is a jerk. <laughs> sorry. Ah. Uh? <laughs> so stupid. Are you positive that there's nothing? It is not a thing. Okay. <laughs> Find this, find this, find this, find this. Got him, I got him, I got him. Alright, pick me up, pick me up. Pick me up. No, it's alright, let's reload. Down, you idiot, stand up! 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I've got my car key, let's freaking go. What have you done? Oh, for God's sake. Why does he make me laugh at him all the time? You've, why have you done that? <laughs> so I did before Sally gets on. I went back into it. Yeah, it's not very strong. I didn't even just knocked it over. It is strong. Look at the size of it. Knock that over, see what happens. It won't break. It will. It won't. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, they do break. The one that never shares a food. It's real funny, isn't it? It's real funny. It's real fucking funny sometimes. It's real fucking funny, huh? How about, how about we just fucking say what we're all thinking, huh? Man, this helmet, wrong side, lah. <laughs> Wait, what's that? My little pony thing here, there. Uh huh. Go home. What's up? Did you what's up? Show you something else. Watch this. <laughs> Wait, check. 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 <laughs> what the fuck? What? No. There's no way. Nah, it's enough for this video. Fucking hell. Oh, this was old as fuck. This is two years ago, bro. Why are you guys looking at me in the last video? Bourbon shit. I did what? I, I, like, do you just find the most unfunny shit link? That's the last rubber band I had. Oh, oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> I want a jump scare, to be honest. All tomorrows. A billion year chronicle of the myriad species and mixed fortunes of man. Long ago, in the distant past, humans colonized. Why the fuck will I watch this? Do you know how many stars there are on the US flag? 52? 47. Yes. What state is Utah in? Michigan? Yes. You know what state Utah is in? Utah, I'm... What the fuck is Utah, bro? Dude, I don't get this half this is me. I just wanna watch a normal video, bro. Is that too hard to ask? What is this dog shit? Dude, 
when I'm in a dog shit song request, when I'm in a dog shit, dude, oh my god, I'm gonna get pissed. I'm done. The monsters banned Jimmy Johns. It's from random. I'm, I'm done. Easter bun. There is no two fish. Stop linking me memes. Why is something you're bored? I've seen these videos, but I'm not really that interested in watching an hour and a half long video on this. Dude, what the f- did, did, <laughs> did Jimmy Jones actually go banned? He did. Unlucky. Bro, I wanna watch normal videos, man. Why are you guys thinking me the most unfunny shit ever? This is exactly what this chat sucks dick. This is not a, this is not a cringe meme. Oh, really? None of them have you sent me a 2017 most critical video. I, I, I'm just done. Like, I, I'm confused. Like, I don't get it. This is exciting when reaction streams died. <laughs> what? Wait, what's happening to her? <laughs> Our horse OP. Oh, I'm sure it's fucked not watching this. Maybe when it comes to ho oh, dick length. Woman moment again. Oh my god. I'm so stuck behind. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? What are you kidding me? Dude, this is a kid's game. Oh my god. Pretending. Dude, people are just pretending, dude. I'm um, bleach? I already seen this a thousand times, bro. Pretending. There's just no way they're real, bro. They're not real people. What is this, bro? I hate this clip in the crusty crab. What is this garbage? He just hits a dance after that. What the fuck? What is this? A movie. Say it loud. I want a movie. Okay. I want a movie. Then take it. I'm gonna take it. Hey, Jade Wilson. <gasps> <clears throat> what would that even be? It would be so awesome. It would be so. It would be so cool. <laughs> I want to kill myself watching this shit, please. Just got passed by a girl. Please send me something that's... Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. I always ask my mother, I say, Mother, how come is everything white? I said, why is Jesus white with blonde and blue eyes? Why is the Lord's Supper all white men? Angels are white. Pope and um, Mary and every, even the angels. I said, Mother, when we die, do we go to heaven? She said, naturally, we go to heaven. Oh, I said, what happened all the... It's just cringe. Hola amigos, this is Will Witt with PragerU. Today we're at UCLA what? talking to college students and on Olvera Street talking to Hispanics in honor of Halloween and to see if my outfit is offensive. <laughs> Dang it. Would you guys like to chat with us today? No. That's what we want to talk to you about. Hola. You find my outfit offensive? Yeah. You find it offensive? <laughs> Do you find it offensive? Uh, maybe a little. Do you think my outfit is offensive? Are you Mexican? No. Yes. I think it reaffirms stereotypes that are offensive to people. What stereotypes? It's a fucking sombrero. The fuck? You think people really think Mexican people are like this and carry around marachas? No, I don't think people 
actually think that. Do you find my outfit offensive? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because it's not your culture. Cultural appropriation? Why do you say that? Because you're not, like, Mexican. You think Mexican food is, like, cultural appropriation? No. Someone else's culture that we've kind of taken. Is this cultural appropriation? <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> um, you don't really understand what their culture means and what it means to wear these things, like the hats and the maracas. We don't. <laughs> no one wears this. Dude. No one does this. Like, what do you think? Do people really think that we just go outside and we're like, Woo! Like, dude, no, we fucking don't. The fuck? Like, dude, the fuck? Because, you know, you sort of have to understand where all of this comes from for it to not. It comes from nowhere, dipshit. They wear some barrels because the sun's out and it's hot. That's where they come from. There's there's no backstory to this. Shut the fuck up. Is it it ain't real? Cultural appropriation. It's not yours. <laughs>
man. People who, people who base their lives around politics tend to be, live very unfulfilled lives. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I I I, I feel like I'm now, dude. Fanboy fishing, really. I'm gonna kill myself. No, 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 no. That's how I get banned on Twitch. No thanks. I pass. Literally the Okay, that's a good time to stop that video. Good lord. What the fuck? Holy fuck, Brazilians. In the middle of the motherfucking snow, you're running. You see a bunch of us in black cloaks running towards you. You see me in a gold cloak. Big, tall, muscular, evil ass motherfucker running at Don't watch this. Ah. Uh huh? Go, uh huh? What the fuck is this? Ugandan Air Force. <laughs> the text is not moving. Commando! <laughs> <laughs> the video cut. Uh, classic? What is this? Previously on Red Show. You really just linked my own video. Wasn't that a new video supposed to be released today? I think so. I don't know why. I'm, I'm supposed to be sending my own video, bro. I see this a thousand times. Fucking hell. Okay, yeah, def definitely not watching that. Dude, I swear to you know what you know what we haven't done in a while? Idiots in cars. We haven't watched Idiots in Cars in a hot minute. And goddamn, was it the fun as fuck. This video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. So are you saying you're only concentrated about five times a year then, right? I'm watching Card Narcs, yeah, no. You only go, you only utilize this. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I'd say that's what? What are you doing? I probably would utilize that. What? You, buddy! If I'm having a constipation episode. <laughs> <laughs> What?
not that guy, the guy in front of us. Jesus Christ. I can't read, sadly. Oh, Dude. no way. The f are you doing, man? Nah. What? What the hell are you doing? I'm doing Oh, here we go. Oh, now wait, he's gonna crash the wall. <laughs> well then, I wish that was worse somehow. What? What? Whoa, what the fuck? What the <laughs> oh, some crashes. I want people crashing. I hydroplane surely as a. Oh my god. What's hydroplaning? What is that? Uh oh, when you lose traction? Oh no. Huh? Holy it's shit. Oh, is it just one guy recording himself? Whatever the fuck. Check out Dubai drifting. So get a resub with a video. What is this? What is this about? It's gonna be dog shit, isn't it? What the dog doing? God damn it, dude. It's like the way, you know, you know what they say, dude. It's like a like a, you flip a coin, you know. Have you seen this? Have you seen this guy's channel before? White guy surprises locals with rare Chinese dialect. Oh, oh, I know. So this is part two of our adventures in Brooklyn Chinatown, where we get lots of delicious foods and also practice the rare Chinese dialect of Fujianese. Is this, doesn't this guy make the same exact video a thousand times? Um, if you like these videos, please remember to no? subscribe. And um, now on to the video. Guys, I, I see something really interesting over here. I don't actually know what this is, but it looks like super delicious. Have you guys ever seen this before? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it looks really good. It looks like, um, what, yeah. what? Dumplings? Or? Dumplings? This is, does not look like dumplings. Hi, could we uh, uh, one? One? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Click my video, Satch. The Nutty Putty Caves. What? 2009, John Edward Jones, an avid amateur caver, entered the Nutty Putty Caves just south of Salt Lake City in Utah. He was accompanied by a large group of family and friends. It was, after all, just before Thanksgiving. The trip was intended to be bad? a brief adventure that they could share before the holiday. What it turned into was a living nightmare that would cost John Edward Jones his life. The Nutty Putty Caves were first discovered in 1960 Wait, this and were named for the soft brown clay which lined many of the passages. The system consisted of dozens of rooms connected by narrow, low-ceilinged corridors. Dude, to be honest, bro, dude, I will never, if there's one thing I will never in my life do, is go cave diving. Who, you have to be fucking sick in the head to do shit, this shit. You have to be fucking ill, like mentally ill, to do shit like this. 
Fuck no. Although it required a great deal of wriggling and crawling to navigate, it was considered a good cave system for beginners and was visited by thousands each year. Those visitors could enjoy features which included the big slide, a room wherein the floor descended at a 45 degree angle. There was also the maze, a confusing jumble of tiny chambers and tight corridors that were fun to explore and contained a hollow rock that was said to ring like a bell when struck. What? As supposedly beginner friendly as the caves were, they weren't without issue. From 1999 to 2004, a number of people, including Fun. two boy scouts, oh God. became stuck in tight or narrow parts of the caves and had to be rescued by professionals. These incidents led to some changes in the way the cave was managed. After being gated for a number of years, the caves were reopened with a registration system in place. Groups would have to book <laughs> online to ensure that cave management knew who was down there and the caves wouldn't be overly crowded at any one point in time. That was the situation when John Edward Jones and his friends and family entered the Nutty Putty Caves on the 24th of November, 2009. Mm. Amongst the group was John's brother, Josh. Between them, the two siblings had a great deal of caving experience. During their childhood, they had gone on numerous underground adventures across the state of Utah, although they had never before visited the Nutty Putty Caves. For almost an hour, the trip went well. The group crawled, scrambled, and inched their way through the caverns, delighted by each new discovery. Okay, honestly, bro, honestly, you know, okay, you know what's the problem with this type of videos, right? Why can we just call caves for what they are? Why is it called the Nutty Putty Cave? That's just bullshit. Why do we call it the Demonic Death uh, Volcano Fire Pits of Hell? Or some shit. People will be more afraid to do it. People will be like, but dude, you're a guy, you're a climber or whatever, and you see the Nutty Putty Cave, bro. You did it. It sounds like, oh, it's just gonna be a walk in the park. At around 9 p.m., John found what he thought was the entrance to Birth Canal, a well-known stretch of the caves, so named because of how tight and narrow it was. The passageway which confronted John certainly fitted that description. He squeezed inside and wriggled forward. When the narrow crevice took a downward turn, he hesitated for only a moment. The narrow space looked as though it might open out a little bit further down, and besides, he was sure that he was in Birth Canal, a passage which he knew could be safely navigated if he just kept his nerve. Unfortunately, John wasn't in Birth Canal after oh. all. Instead, he was wriggling headfirst down an uncharted tunnel in a different part of the caves, a Holy. tunnel that had never been charted specifically because it was far too small. Unaware of the danger, John crawled onwards, until he couldn't. When he realised he was stuck, he was head down in an almost vertical passage, the diameter of which was smaller than a front-loading washing machine. He couldn't move an inch. John's brother Josh was close behind him and soon realised something was wrong. When he learned that John was stuck, he first attempted to pull him out, but was able only to shift him a few inches. Realising that the situation was beyond them, Josh raced back out of the caves to fetch help, while another friend waited by John's side. What? Within hours, rescue teams were on site. They were faced with an intensely difficult operation. It was now midnight, and pitch black outside the caves as well as in. The place where John was stuck was incredibly narrow, meaning that however many resources were available, only one person could get close enough to access him at any one time. Oh no. John remained as calm as was possible under the circumstances. Indeed, when the first rescue worker arrived on scene, he thanked them for coming and told them that he really, really wanted to get out. Oh. Making that happen would prove to be next to impossible. Rescue workers attempted to drill out the rock around John, but were able only to widen one small part of the passage by a few inches, even after hours of labor. Abandoning this idea, they rigged up a system of ropes and pulleys. Securing a loop around John's legs, the only part of him that they could reach. There's no way what's gonna happen is that they, like, they're gonna fucking decapitate them or some shit. The slow and painful process of hauling him out. At first, it seemed like this tactic might succeed. They were able to raise him a significant distance out of the vertical crevice in which he was stuck, although doing so caused John a great deal of pain. While they stopped to rest, a radio was lowered down to John so that he could communicate with his pregnant wife, who oh. waited for him outside the caves. No way. At this stage, 
John had been stuck in place for 19 hours, almost an entire day spent upside down yeah, damn, in a space so months. small that breathing was difficult. Being upside down for that length of time is not a trivial inconvenience. It causes blood to pool in the head, where it can rupture a blood vessel or put so much pressure on the eyes that it causes blindness. Oh. The organs lie heavily on top of the lungs, resulting in breathing difficulties and often unconsciousness. For some people, being suspended upside down for as little as 10 minutes can be fatal. John had been stuck that way for almost an entire day. Jesus Christ. Despite this, he remained quite calm. After several more pulls, he was high enough that he could make eye contact with one of the rescuers. When asked how he was faring, he said only, It sucks. I'm upside down. I can't believe I'm upside down. My legs are killing me. At this stage, Okay, honestly, dude, as a man, I know it's gonna be like a weird take, but bro, like, dude, you have a fucking wife, she's pregnant, and you're going to fucking... You're going ca caving into the fucking caves? What are you, fucking stupid? The fuck? Exhausted and in agony as John was, the possibility of escape must have seemed like a very real one. An escape from his confinement, medical attention, contact with his friends and family, all of these things were so close they must have been almost tangible to him. It was at this point that everything went wrong. Oh. As the rescuers hauled once more on the rope, something gave way explosively. The rescuer closest to John was hit in the face and briefly knocked unconscious. No way. When he recovered, all he could see was dust and darkness. It took several minutes for him to orient himself and work out the terrible truth. John had slipped right back down into the crevice from which they'd been hauling him. Oh. What had happened? A stone arch around which the rope had been looped had shattered, and the next nearest bolt had pulled out of the rock, creating slack in the rope and allowing John to fall. The bolt was what had hit the rescuer in the face and knocked him unconscious. The injured rescuer was evacuated from the cave for treatment, and a replacement wriggled into the narrow defile. They spoke to John, but could get no response, Aww. and could hear that his breathing was laboured and shallow. Desperate, they wriggled down into the narrow cave to try and loop another rope around his waist, but became stuck themselves and had to be helped back out. Holy! A doctor was escorted down into the caves to assess John as best he could. The news was the worst that there could possibly be. John had passed away. Despite a day-long rescue effort involving dozens of workers, the confinement and the inversion had taken its toll. Jesus. He was declared dead at midnight on November 25th. His friends and family, needless to say, were devastated by the news. John was just 26 at the time, fit and healthy, and with a child on the way. His loss in a cave system considered relatively safe for beginners Jesus, was a dude. shock to everyone. <laughs> this video did a great job to like my interest of cave exploration from 1% to zero. <laughs> it was quickly determined that any operation to retrieve his body would be impossibly difficult and dangerous. The landowner, appalled by the incident, initially wished to dynamite the caves, destroying them completely, but was dissuaded from doing so. Why not? Instead, the caves were sealed shut with a concrete plug, turning them into a tomb for John Edward Jones. No, no, listen dude, this is like, why the fuck man? Like, like why the fuck would you ever do such a thing? Like, who thinks of themselves? Man, this sounds like a great idea. Like, dude. He's still there. He's probably he's probably already decomposing chatters. And he's already dead anyways. What the fuck is the point of bringing his corpse anyways? For what? I've seen a similar one where he slowly but surely died because being upside down causes. Oh my god. Are you no I'm more watching card knights. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. How it's made? Eh. Nah.
all of Berserk 1997, but the characters go of strict and what? If you think you can graduate from this school without kissing my cock, <laughs> you are dead wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? React to this. So in case you've been living under a rock for the past month, the Saudi government has officially announced NEOM, an ultra high tech region of the future, made up of Trojena, an LSD user's idea of a mountain resort, the Oxagon, the floating surveillance dystopia, and of course, the line. The futuristic line-shaped city cutting straight through the landscape. And we're going to take a look at them now. First, Trojena, which is a mountain resort on crack, complete with a huge concrete artificial lake, some bizarre mirror cave, I'm sorry, I mean a portal connecting the digital and the physical. I don't know what the, the fuck is this, but it looks trippy as hell. Nah, give something good, come on. <laughs> What's the matter with you, boy? They won't let me go to Becca. Okay, something that's actually not bad now. Dude. <laughs> the, okay, I, I, I'm gonna say this once. This type of memes. We're just gonna have, let me guess. It's gonna be like TTS. Wait, what time is it? This memes are the most unfunniest shit ever made in the history of the world. Did it? No, I, I, it, there's just no way someone out there finds this funny. It's so unfunny. Like, holy shit. Yeah. He's like in a corner. It's. China not number one. Okay, never mind. I'm not watching that, dude. That's just... I already know where that's going. <laughs> I don't know how to get banned. Okay, that's not funny. Okay, that's not funny. What year was the U.S. founded? What year? Yeah. <laughs> 1995? What? Who did we get from? Korea. What? Yes. <laughs> Do you know who fought in the Civil War? The Nazis versus Germany. The Germans? Yes. What? Who fought in the Civil War? Kennedy? <laughs> Dude, no way. Who fought in World War One? George Washington? Who fought in World War One? England. Against? The United States? Nope. What? By George Washington. Did Germany have any allies? Poland? No. What? They destroyed Poland. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who fought in World War II? Is that. Like, is that Vietnam? No way! Nah, dude. No fucking shot. So shut the fuck up. There's no way, dude. When did World War II end? Um, 52? Wow. When did Pearl Harbor <laughs> take place? I feel like it's somewhere in the 80s. That's not, that's not that much of a terrible guess, though. But it's still pretty bad, man. And the 80s, I guess. I <laughs> <Dude. laughs> 
1995, US declares independence from Korea. <laughs> Holy fuck. I don't like the way my skin feels on my body. I'm not watching that, man. I don't know what the fuck are you guys sending me, dude. What is this? Where's my compliant? One of them shut down just because the music was too loud. Can't imagine what could have been so loud to blow out the sensors. Anyways, I'll be back to upgrade the others. For now, just play the sound response manual and everything should be A OK. What is this? What? Please make sure that the left and the right speakers are properly placed. The audio will be played in three seconds, all right. Oh, my ear. Okay, fuck this video, bro. <laughs> this. 911, what is your emergency? Yeah, there's someone in my house. Okay, sir, we need a description. It's a girl. Okay, cringe videos from random nobodies. X fucking the. This is not a general discussion thread. If you wish to chat, please. This looks like even dog shit too. Well, it's been a while since I want to watch one of these, I guess. It's been a while since I watched one of the. What? It's been a while since I just watched soft porn on stream. She's not hot. What? Are you okay? You know you're just saying things to say things, man. I know you're just saying things to say things. The Mandela catalog. What is this? What is this? A where? It's okay. It's okay. What's wrong, honey? Everything's gonna be okay. There's no need to cry. The hell are you guys sending me, man? Hello? Hey. Hey, what's up? You started crying again. At the same time, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, I, I, I just don't know how to help you anymore. Are you absolutely sure it's not the- No. Okay. <laughs> Holy fuck. It's like a mind bomb, dude. It's like a fucking mind- It's like a mind bomb, bro. It's either Breaking Bad or some Dr. Chippos. God speed, Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, ay ay ay. Look, 
Lady, whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Stop it. sending me Breaking Bad memes. Stop. Dude, fucking stop already, dude. I've had enough. I, dude, I just get to see Breaking Bad memes 24 7. The show ended years ago. What is this? Oh my god, baby, 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 please wake up. Oh my god, baby, please come back. Police. This looks like cringe again. Holy fuck. Brawly's race. <laughs> This is, this is why this is why reaction streams died. This is exactly why reaction streams died, dude. Let's just let you guys know. Are you ready, kids? SpongeBob SquarePants anime opening. What the fuck is this? Well, I think that's enough for today, Chance. I think it's enough for today.